Is Daddy gonna go to the hospital? He'll get an owie on his hip. Yeah. It'll be good for Grandma while we're gone. Yeah. And he'll really scare for you. It'll be okay. So, you're going for tonsil surgery and hip surgery? <laughs> I should get my tonsils removed. I was like feeling them and I was like, oh great. So I took a Q-tip and was like, nah, nah. and Calvin's like, are you getting tonsil surgery today? <laughs> no, but I need it. But I certainly need it now. Oh, I feel like having, I don't know when it happened, like maybe, did you think the it mask? It was the start of COVID. Yeah, that's when I started getting it. Wearing a mask like and just like having my breath go in and out. Did anyone else get tonsil stones over the pandemic or just me? I got tonsil stones. <laughs> Bye guys. Love you. <laughs> I love you. So you're probably wondering, what exactly are they doing in surgery? Well. I knew I would tell you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the doctor described this surgery to me as a restorative hip surgery. My first surgery was not done with a scope or you know very precise tools. Now the things have been updated so much over the last 12 years that they're able to do things a lot cleaner and simpler. So they're basically going to clean up a lot of the surgery that was done before, but they're also going to remove the last pin that is in my hip. And I think honestly, that's gonna be one of the biggest things that helps me. I can feel that pin. I know when my rotation is like too much that I can feel the pin or something is inhibiting me from rotating. So I feel for like freeing that up will help me a lot. <laughs> I said I am emotional mm. for you, just so you know. It's just kind of been a weird drive, huh? I shouldn't be nervous. I don't think I have any reason to be nervous. I think it's just everything compounded on each other from this week. It's just a lot. Yeah, the house, my grandma, the surgery. I think yesterday was really nice being able to see family and I feel like that calmed my nerves a lot. So I think I kind of, I thought oh, I'd probably be here. So nice. And now I'm like actually here and I wanna be here. <laughs> I think the drugs will help you be. There. Maybe we should get those in me. Let's go. Ellie wanted to see a before and after of my scar from the first surgery because the incisions on this one will probably be very, very small. But my last surgery, this inc incision was very, very big. Can you see that line? Look from at that here, shark line. All the way down to here. I wonder where it'll be. Like, do you think it'll be all somewhere around here? I have no idea. We'll find out. But I think it'll be just two little tiny little nicks like that. It's the last time you're gonna be able to jump really hard on your feet. Do you want to hurry and do like a <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> the most vulnerable outfit in the whole world. You call it vulnerable? It makes you feel the least sexiest. I call it fashionable. <laughs> what do you think? You look really good. Do I look good? Do Handsome. I look okay, I'm gonna sit down now so you don't see anything. Don't look at me anymore. I won't. <laughs> okay, you sock boy. Uh, excuse me, not just socks. Compression socks. Oh yeah. All the way up to my knees. You are oh. the most stylish man. They only pricked you how many times? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> they had um, someone who was in nursing school come in and do the IV and I was like, please take as many tries as you need to. Like, I wanna be someone who's like, like, oh no, 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 don't do it. Supportive. I, yeah, I, cause I was in that position for school. Like I needed, you know, help sometimes. I wanted a second try and it's like, if you don't get it your first try, try again. And so I told him, please take as many tries as you need. Um, I, Cause I want to make sure you- have So how many chance. tries? It only took two, so. <laughs> I feel a little chipper now. Yeah. I feel a little more like, this is real. 
Oh, what? it's like there's no going back anymore. No. I, when I woke up, I was like, maybe I won't do this. Well, we're doing Here this. we are. <laughs> <laughs> this escalated quickly. It'll take three hours. Three hours for surgery. Mm -hmm. Cleaning it all up, getting the pin out. And we get to keep the pin. I asked them if I could keep the pin there. Just like, you just have to sign this hardware release. <laughs> I was like, sweet. Let's have Jonathan put it, <laughs> put it in the house. I get to complete the collection. Oh, that's hilarious. We should yeah. screw those in. Somewhere. We're so weird. We're the weirdest. Well, I headed out and I'm going to grab a bite to eat. But before Jared went into surgery, his doctor came in and really set Jared's nerves at ease. He talked about his post-op care and Jared was under the impression that he couldn't do any weight at all on his leg, but a lot has changed, I guess, since 12 years ago. And the doctor was like, actually, it will be better to put half your weight on your leg because it helps release those muscles. And he kind of explained everything to him and really made Jared feel comfortable. It's just unbelievable that it's happening. It just seems like yesterday that he was having his first surgery Surgery and we were dating. It's just wild in 12 years how much life Jared and I have experienced together and this time around is different. We've got three boys to watch after and I hope that Jared recovers smoothly and I hope he also feels like we are going to give him all the space that he needs. Um, Jared has taken care of me so much over the years between having babies or just whatever I've needed. He's just been so good to take care of me. So I hope he feels the love from us to him. I got really emotional. I have makeup and tears all over. <laughs> The doctor called and told me about the surgery and I am the worst at soaking in info and then relaying that info. But pretty much it was a little more aggressive and they went to remove the pin, but it broke, which they said is really common, especially because his pin has been in for 12 years. But they said it was a good thing because the pin was a centimeter above the bone, which has been bothering him. And so they were able to remove that. They were able to shave down a lot more bone and move his leg around to see what movement he needs. So they were able to successfully do the surgery, but there was a lot of cleanup that they had to do. And it just makes me sad because he's been in pain for a long time and he's really positive and I just love him. Hello, Jer. Hey. I just asked them if they were able to make me taller. <laughs> <laughs> Did they say hell no? We haven't measured, so it's a possibility. <laughs> How are you? Good. He Maybe. said it was like kind of intense. Really? And that they, he broke the needle off. I'm just glad I got some of it. That's crazy. He said it was a centimeter above the bone. These guys have been amazing. Really? Just so sweet to me. I sound like my dad a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bawled when the doctor called me. Why? Because he was just like, he'll be in a little more pain than I thought because they were more aggressive. And he said that because of the first surgery, mm -hmm. you couldn't move a lot because of the pain. So there was a lot more like growth. He oh. said they cleaned up a lot. Good. He said you'll have so much more movement. He said he moved your leg around to make sure, and they cleaned up the femur more. Get the pull full things too. I know. And he said that your cartilage looked great. Oh, heaven bless. <laughs> Blessed be the Praise be. <laughs> <laughs> I told them, I was like, I wish I knew more surgery jokes. Is that good? Perfect. I asked them to do a little liposuction too. What do you my say? My tummy. And he said, oh, well, you'll be working out. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I guess that's one way. That's probably better. And probably not Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I was so nervous that I would poop on the table. That would have been okay. They would have just cleaned it. Yeah. But awful. But it's crappy. Like, that they'd be like, oh, he's the guy that pooped. Do you think that's happened before? I'm sure. But I don't want to be the poop guy. I want to be the nice guy. When we get home, the toilet man.
<gasps> Proposing to my boyfriend during surgery. <laughs> Are you asking what I think you're asking? Jared, will you have one more baby with me? I'll think about it's it. stuck. <laughs> it. Will you marry me again? Yes, if you kiss me. I'm gonna get so lucky. Is that the most romantic proposal in the world? Well, we basically dated like this. I know. Why not get married like this? I don't know if I should. He doesn't want to hurt it. To move my leg. Yeah, try and move it. Okay. You should be okay. You okay? Yeah, I think so. Then I put my feet on the. I can put that oh, leg up. Uh, so does that great. feel better? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then if you want to just set your foot down on that one. So wonderful. I knew that stuffed animal would come in handy. I, f I felt a little nauseous going in the wheelchair. Oh, yeah. But I feel like now that we're here, and I'll be able to lay down a little bit. Yeah, good. try not to talk. Okay. Just so you can get breath in, because they had to give you oxygen. Well, hi, Mom. Look at us. A couple of us just icing our wounds, and, well, I had ice on it. I don't know. Is there ice on it, Ellie? Oh, it's on the wrong hip. It's somewhere. We'll get it. Oh, great. That's a good indication. Ellie put it on the wrong hip. <laughs> I felt really good going into surgery and really confident coming out of surgery. They took the pin out, but they could only get like a little bit of the pin, so I still have a pin in me. He said he was able to really clean it up and, you know, make it really good. And he was able to articulate my hip in the operating room to find all the places where it would be impinged and clean it up. For crutches, he said, I want you 50% weight bearing right away. So not non weight bearing. So I, that made me really encouraged too. Oh my so goodness, buddy. Looked like you had a good nap. Oh my gosh, I'm... Pale as can be. Am I? Yeah. You're a little pale. Look... He's already going off-roading. You look... <laughs> I'm not putting a ton of weight on yeah. it, but it's okay. Hi, Tommy. Hi. His Hi, daddy's kind of not feeling well. Yeah. Let's meet him Hi, in the Jackson. room. Hi, How are you, buddy? We'll get him to his room, and then you can come cuddle. Oh, you've even got a bell to ring? <laughs> you made yeah. it. Did they take the screw out of the tonsils out? No, I wish I got my tonsils out. He got his tip out. Look, Tom. Where's he, Daddy's owie? Right here. Look, we'll show you his owie. They cut his leg and they went in and grabbed the Took screw. that pin out. Is that crazy? Yeah. You gotta smile so you can have service with a smile. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like a doctor. Take a whiff. <laughs> you haven't left Dad's side. I you know, he's a good helper. You keep looking at his owie. Yeah. He's on my belly button. He's like, what happened? Mm. That's know. called Dr. Pepper. Yeah. <laughs> Don't touch. Yeah, so soft. Yeah, soft. That's it, just soft. Is Daddy gonna be okay? Yeah. Love you, buddy. Pound it. Should we let dad rest for a minute? Yeah. So that was in daddy's hip. But it There's broke. still more in his hip. How did that even get in his hip? Yep, yeah, because when they broke his hip, they had to put it together. Bye bye. Joel, I mm. have a hankering for you. <laughs> How did you know? How are you doing, bud? Oh, I'm, <gasps> I'm okay. The medication's still strong, still. Well, there's a pain kicking in. Hi, Olivia. Hi. I didn't know you were here. I would have... Dressed up? Well, no, I would have <laughs> tried not to be so pathetic. No. Oh, you you could be a little stronger after the surgery. That'd be great. I had to tell him to, to stop talking after he came out. <laughs> because, like, his oxygen would, like, plummet. <laughs> and... Like right now you're pale. It's like, just take a breath. I yeah. just wish I knew more surgery jokes. And he was like <laughs> trying to get to know the nurses. And I'm like, shut up. Thank you so much for coming. 
I'm proud of your demeanor. Oh, thanks. It's I a mean... it's a lot different than what it was the first time around. <laughs> I was really mean. <laughs> that, okay. Man, you guys are staying for the week, head. right? <laughs> to do I, all this. I will. I'll help. This is, this this is well, I'm wondering what I bought you. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a surprise for, for me, too. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. He used oh, his my. Leatherman the other day, and you bought that for him for his first surgery. Yeah. And really? he still has it and uses mm. it. That little Leatherman oh. Micro that I got. Okay. Yeah. He yeah. still uses it. Well, see, we're not very original. No. We better Are say you kidding me? <laughs> we're moving. We need that. These. You need one every two months. Yeah. I have one in every car. I have one in my office. You need one in your pocket. And this will go on. <laughs> Do you want to say goodbye and end the vlog? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, let me say this first. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm just really grateful that Landon and Julie and Bonnie and Joel came. Like, that means so much to me. And that my family came out of their way while preparing for a funeral to visit me yesterday. Like, that was really sweet. So, thank you guys. Oh, well, we love you. You take care of everyone, and we're so excited to take care of you. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye. Boop. Ow.